All right. For this problem, we're going to do chapter 15. Sorry, that's a typo. I should say chapter 15, question 5 uh, from your textbook. The question reads, the owner of Showtime Movie Theaters Incorporated would like to estimate weekly gross revenue as a function of advertising expenditures. Historical data for a sample of eight weeks follow. Part A, develop an estimated regression equation with the amount of television advertising as the independent variable. Okay, and that's a simple uh, simple linear regression problem. We'll do that first. If you page down, click on the data tab or hold control, press page down, you can see the data that they give us to work with. We have weekly gross revenues and thousands of dollars in the first column, column A. Television advertising in the second column, thousands of dollars. And newspaper advertising in the third column. Part A asked us to do a regress, develop a, an estimated regression equation uh, looking at the amount of television advertising and its effect on weekly gross revenue, or the way in which those two are related. So in order, in order to do this, we're going to take advantage of the uh, data analysis tool pack that we installed previously. Um, if you go to the data tab at the top of your, uh, of your ribbon, on the right side you should see the data analysis button that we, uh, we enabled. Click that, go down to regression, make sure that you have regression selected, and click OK. All right, now I already did this once, so these are already set, but let me change them back. Uh, for our input Y range, we're going to want to put our dependent variable. You can, you can click here to shrink it if you want. Otherwise, you can just select it. It'll automatically shrink um, to let us know which ones we want. We want to let it know that we're looking at column A, rows 1 through 9. So if you just select those, you can see it goes from A1 through A9. Uh, for the X range, right now we're only looking at television advertising. That's all, that's all it's interested is television advertising. Um, for part A, so we can select this whole column. Once we've done that, um, we need to let it know that we're including our labels so that it knows that the data begins in row second, or uh, row two, sorry. And we're going to want to put it in a new worksheet. I, I'm giving this new worksheet the name TV only. If we do this and click OK, it should give us our output. OK, so that's the output. Um, what the question is really asking for, however, is uh, it's asking for an estimated regression equation. So what we want to do is we want to develop a, a, an estimated regression equation, which, if you recall, looks something like this. It should say y hat, and it, we're using our new terminology, so equals b0 plus b1x. This is our estimate of the underlying uh, population relationship, which involves betas. Um, but taking advantage of the computer, the ability to use the computer. We've developed estimates for beta as 0 and beta 1. Those estimates are given by B0 and B1, where B0 is right here. That's the intercept term. B0 is 88.63768, and B1 is television advertising, or it's the coefficient on television advertising. It's equal to 1.604. Uh, and we can rewrite our estimated regression equation then like this. Y hat equals 88.63768. Uh, 88.64 plus 1.60 times x, where x is television advertising. And that's what these two coefficients right here mean. There's our intercept, and there's our coefficient. Um, as you can see, this, should, this is a 1, in case you can't tell, which you almost certainly can't, because I need to work on my inking. Um, but it's a positive relationship. It says for every $1,000, uh, that is spent on television advertising, uh, the revenue goes up by $1,603. All right. So that's part A. Let's look at part B quick. Part B, develop an estimated regression equation with both television advertising and newspaper advertising as the independent variables. We can do this. Go back to our data sheet. Uh, now we're look going to be looking at a regression that's multiple regression. includes both of these. So. We have our data analysis button. We're going to be doing regression again. It already has our Ys in, in there from last time, from the first regression. Next, we're going to be adding uh, multiple Xs. So just select your Xs. Uh, do I need to stop? I need to stop inking, I think. Let me go back to that quick. Uh, review. Oh, no, it's done. OK. My apologies. Data analysis. Our Ys are set. Our Xs are right here. And now I'm including both television advertising and newspaper advertising. Once again, we want to make sure labels is selected. I'm going to give this one a new name, which is full model. It includes 
all of our X's. So click OK. And now we have a new regression output table. Uh, it's hard to see everything on this one because my screen's a little too small. We can fix that pretty easily. Scroll down, get everything in here. We don't really need that top row, so there we go. There's our full model. As you can see now, we have an intercept term, and we have two coefficients. The intercept term right here, and we have a coefficient on television advertising and a coefficient on newspaper advertising. If we want to write this full model or write this estimated regression equation, we're going to let this be b0 again because the intercept is always b, b always b0. b1 is going to be the coefficient on television advertising, and b2 is going to be the coefficient on newspaper advertising. Once we've defined those, then we can write our estimated regression equation y hat equals 83.23 plus 2.29 times TV advertising in dollars or thousands plus 1.30 times newspaper advertising. I'll just call that news here. You get the idea. Um, what this is saying is that the revenue that's coming in, I forget what it was called, what, what's the revenue called? It's uh, weekly gross revenue is 83.23 with no advertising, that's an estimate, um, and then it increases by $2,000, for every $1,000 of TV advertising and $1,300 for every $1,000 of newspaper advertising. Um, these are both positive relationships, which is good. That's what you might expect. Uh, but they're different. There's the return on television advertising money is higher right now. All right, we go back to our problem tab. We can see that was part C. Uh, or no, that was part B. Part C is the estimated regression equation coefficient for television advertising expenditures, the same in part A and part B. Interpret the coefficient in each case. All right. Now in part A, we're going to look at the TV only tab, and we see that Okay, the coefficient there was 1.604. In the full model, the coefficient on TV advertising was 2.290. And they're different. Uh, our original model, our TV-only model, said that for every $1,000 of television advertising, weekly gross revenue would increase by $1,604. Our full model says that for every $1,000 of television advertising, our uh, weekly revenue, gross revenue increases by $2,290. Uh, so that's the interpretation of our coefficients. Clearly they're different. Um, when we add the newspaper advertising into the model, the, the effect of television advertising, the estimated effect, goes up quite a bit. All right, that's part C. And then finally, part D, what is the estimate of the weekly gross revenue for a week when $3,500 is spent on television advertising and $1,800 is spent on newspaper advertising? Uh, well, let's take a look. We have our full model. Our full regression model should allow us to to run this calculation. Uh, in order to to take a look at it, I'm going to scroll down a little bit to give me some more room. Um, but let's look at our problem. So the problem is asking us uh, what is the week estimated weekly gross revenue when uh, how much was that in there? When $3,500 is spent, actually, why don't I just copy and paste it? Then we'll be able to see it while we do it. So copy, paste it right here. What is the estimate of the weekly gross revenue for a week when $3,500 is spent on TV advertising and $1,800 is spent on newspaper advertising? Well, it's going to be, we're going to use this model right here. This model right here that we just, this estimated regression equation is what we're going to use. Um, so we can press equals to start our... Uh, our formula, and it's going to be 83.23 plus 2.29 times the amount that we uh, are going to be using in TV advertising, which is $3,500. Remember, this coefficient is uh, on thousands of dollars, so that's going to be $3,500. To that, we're going to add the effect of $1,800, or 1 1.30 times $1.8 thousand dollars on newspaper advertising. If we press enter or press over, this should give us our estimated uh, weekly gross revenue, which is going to be 93.585. Uh, now to get this formula, I was using numbers the whole time. 
Uh, but there's another way we can do it where we use references to the cells. Because we have our coefficients in, in cells, we can use those references to, to get the uh, to get a more accurate. We don't have any rounding if we do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to press equals again right here and scroll up to our coefficient, to our uh, intercept. I'm sorry. Um, so that's B17. We'll take that value then we'll add it to B18 times uh, 3.5 and we'll add that to B19 times 1.8. If we do that, you should see, okay, 93.587588 um, when we don't round. So you can see that using the full model, and you can see the equation is still here, readily accessible. It's actually a little bit better to do that uh, in Excel because if you do it this way, where we have uh, that, the numbers plugged in, it can be hard to tell where those numbers came from. It's not very intuitive where they came from. Um, you have to look, and if anything changes, if you're going to edit any of this data, um, not that you necessarily would in an output table, but if you are, it won't change your result. Whereas here, we have cell references, which means that if these change, right, we delete that, uh, you can see that it uh, it changes our result. So it's, it's dynamically calculated, it's automatically updated. All right, so that is how you solve problem chapter 15, question 5. Uh, Keep watching, and we'll have some more problems coming soon. Thanks. Bye.